Hello and welcome to video number two in the GarageBand for iOS course. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first song and also show you some really important information about managing your songs, where they're saved to on your iPhone and how you can sync them with other devices using the cloud, Google Drive or even Dropbox. So when you open up GarageBand, it will automatically load the last song you've been working on. And if you want to create a new song, or if you want to get out of the song that you've most recently been working on, we need to hit the downward facing arrow on the top left hand corner right here. When I click on that, I then select my songs. It's going to take us to this file browser. And this is actually a file browser on the actual uh, phone. You'll see on the top left hand corner, it says on my iPhone. So we can go and click on that on my iPhone and it will show the various folders uh, of the files app. And even if we go further onto browse, you'll see there's various locations such as the iCloud drive, my iPhone. And on this phone, I have Google Drive and Dropbox installed. So that will give me an option for that. Using the iCloud drive or something like the Google Drive is a really good way if you have both an iPad and an iPhone. So you can work on a song on your iPhone when you're on the bus or uh, just traveling anywhere. And then when you get back home and you want to look at it a bit in a bit more closer detail, you can then open it up on the iPad and any changes you've made, it will sync using that. I'm going to select on my phone. So we can see that these are some songs that I've already created. And when you create a new song, which I'm going to do now, it will ask you a few things. Do you want to create a live loop style uh, recording or do you just want to do the standard tracks like a traditional digital audio workstation. And then you have a number of options here. You can start out depending on how you want to start your track. In this instance, I'm going to quickly just record a few notes on a keyboard. Let's hit record here. It's going to count me in and I'm just going to hit a few notes and hit stop just so I have some information to save. And now if I go back out to the my songs, it's going to show probably somewhere here a song called my song. So that's the naming convention. It will just call it by default. My song one, my song two, my song three. I would suggest naming your tracks so you can keep um, them in the good order and you can find your song ideas. Otherwise, you'll just have a folder that says my song one through to my song 76, which I've seen on some users uh, devices. So I'm going to click and hold on the song. Now you, you'll notice also down the bottom before I do that, we've got browse and we've got recent. So recent and browse are slightly different. Uh, recent will just show any recent tracks you've been working on, plus any labels that you've uh, placed on them, uh, tags rather. And then in the browse, it's going to give us quite a lot more options. So in either the, the recent or the browse, you can hold your finger down on a song and it will give you options to copy. So you can copy it from this folder and you can pop it into your Google Drive or your iCloud, or you can just have a different folder called backups if you are if you want to save a work in progress. Duplicating that will make an exact copy of that within the same folder. You can select to move this to a different folder. So if I wanted to say hit move and I had a different folder on my iPhone or I wanted to move that to my iCloud, I can do that there. I can also select info. So this is this will give me information uh, about the project when it was created, when it was last worked on. And we can add some tags from here or we can go back, click and hold on that and select tags. So we can add a colored tag to the song um, orange or yellow could be work in progress. Um, green can be a finished track or, or red can be a, a song that you've just started because then when you go to recent, it will uh, show them under different, these tag sort of uh, labels. We can also rename the song by clicking and holding on it, which is what I would suggest. And then that way, if we can say uh, new song or my song or hip hop beat, I'm going to call this hip up beat two and we can even add an emoji there if we'd like and there we go and i'm going to 
pop a red label on that to say that it's a song that I've only just started. I'm all, I can also delete uh, ideas that I haven't really worked on or songs that I don't need anymore uh, from this screen. And the last thing that we need to look at is um, there's an extra option under this browse uh, menu. So we have a plus and a select on the top right hand corner. If I hit plus, it's going to uh, create a new song for me. I don't want to do that. I want to hit select. This is how we can export our song as a audio file. So if I hit select, it, you can see now each uh, song has a circle on it and I select the one I want to export and then the menu changes down the bottom. On the far most left, we can select the export option, which is um, export is often called share on iOS devices or on Mac OS devices. So on the far left, uh, we can export our song as an MP3 or a web file or a, a, a number of different audio files. Once we're finished, we can save it as a ringtone or we can export this as a project, which we can then send to our Mac and open up in the Mac version of GarageBand if we like. The other options are very similar by just clicking and holding. We can duplicate and I'll actually delete that duplicated version. Um, we can hit the middle uh, little folder icon to move. We can delete from this screen and we can also select these three little dots to make a copy. So that's the basic file management in GarageBand. And the last thing you need to know about file management in GarageBand for iOS is that there's no save feature like you would have in a lot of music software. Uh, it simply saves as you go. And when you close down the app, it will just open it up the last way you were working on that particular song. So we'll see you in the next video.